In this video I show you a selection of the most beautiful and successful building reconstructions in Saxony with many details and information. The Zwinger is a building complex with gardens in Dresden. Built under the direction of the architect Matthias Daniel Poppelman and the sculptor Balthasar Permoser, the Gesamtkunstwerk of architecture, sculpture and painting is one of the most important buildings of the Baroque period and, alongside the Frauenkirche, is Dresden's most famous monument. The Zwinger was built from 1709 as an orangery and garden as well as a prestigious festival area. Its richly decorated pavilions and galleries lined with balustrades, figures and vases bear witness to the splendor of the reign of Elector Frederick Augustus I and his claim to power. The Semper Gallery, opened in 1855, was one of the most important German museum projects of the 19th century and made it possible to expand the use of the Zwinger as a museum complex, which had grown since the 18th century under the influences of the times. The air raids on Dresden on February 13 and 14, 1945 hit the Zwinger hard and led to extensive destruction. Since its reconstruction in the 1950s and 1960s, the Zwinger has housed the Old Master's Picture Gallery, the Mathematical Physical Salon and the Porcelain Collection. Please like and subscribe. The Koselpale is a palace in the inner old town in Dresden. The historic palace was one of the late major works of Dresden Baroque. After its destruction in the Second World War, it was gradually rebuilt until 2000. The palace was reconstructed in a modified form and is now used as an office building and restaurant. The original building was erected in 1764 and had five stories and an 11-axis structure. The main facade was divided by pilaster strips with a central rhizolite and triangular gable. The 12 children's sculptures on the gate entrance are considered the highlight of Saxon Baroque. The exterior of the main building was largely reconstructed true to the original between 1998 and 2000. However, in addition to the superstructure of the garden with a modernist extension, the omission of the historic inner courtyard is controversial. Instead of restoring the courtyard, which was necessary for construction as well as for lighting and ventilation, it was only hinted at and artificially illuminated story areas were created. In contrast to many other reconstructed buildings on Neumarkt, however, the roof section was reconstructed in a historically accurate form with a wooden roof truss and the facades were made of brick instead of concrete. The Frauenkirche in Dresden is a Baroque Evangelical Lutheran church and the defining monumental building of Dresden's Neumarkt. It is considered a magnificent example of Protestant sacred architecture, has one of the largest stone church domes north of the Alps and is one of the largest sandstone buildings in the world. The Dresden Frauenkirche was built from 1726 to 1743 to a design by George Barr and became an emblem of both the Dresden Baroque style and the famous city skyline. From the very beginning, however, it was also afflicted with serious structural defects that could never be properly rectified. At the end of the Second World War, its most important load-bearing parts were so weakened by the heat of the firestorm raging in Dresden during the air raids on Dresden on the night of February 13 to 14, 1945, that it collapsed on the morning of February 15. In the GDR, the ruins were preserved and left as a memorial against war and destruction. After the peaceful revolution in the GDR, demolition work began in early 1993 and the reconstruction of the church building began in 1994. The work, which was completed in 2005, was mainly financed by sponsoring associations and donors from all over the world, including the U.S. Friends of Dresden. On October 30, 2005, a consecration service and ceremony took place in the Frauenkirche. The ruins have now become a symbol of reconciliation.
The Kurlander Palais is a historic building in Dresden. It was built in 1728-29 by Johann Christoph Knopfel for Count August Christoph von Wackerbarth in the Dresden Baroque style and is considered to be Dresden's first Rococo building. Destroyed down to the outer walls during the Second World War, it remained the last old town war ruin for a long time, it was rebuilt from 2006 to 2008. The Kurlander Palais is a building in a relatively sober, rational and elegant style that appears to be influenced by French classicist Baroque. The building is characterized by a clear, elegant facade design with sparse ornamentation. The Neumarkt in Dresden is a square in the inner old town between the Altmarkt and the Elbe. Like Theaterplatz, Schlossplatz, and Altmarkt, it is one of the most important squares in Dresden's old town. Neumarkt was created as a second market square in the 16th century after the relocation of the old city wall, incorporating the Judenhof, and was enlarged after the secularization of the Frauenkirchhof in the 18th century. The predominantly preserved Baroque buildings of the Neumarkt were largely destroyed by the air raids on Dresden in February 1945. After the rubble had been cleared, its boundaries were removed and it appeared as an extensive open space around the ruins of the Frauenkirche, bordered by the Johannium, the Culture Palast and the ruins of the Kurlander Palais. During the demolition, stable and rebuildable building ensembles were also torn down, such as on Rampische Strasse. As a result of the lively construction activity following German reunification, triggered by the reconstruction of the Frauenkirche, today's square has changed its shape continuously, especially since 2001. After long and controversial debates, the new development aimed to largely reconstruct many of the historic buildings and building layouts in the Dresden Baroque style that characterized Neumarkt in the past and were destroyed by war and subsequent demolition. Nevertheless, strong civic engagement, such as the Citizens' Initiative Gesellschaft Historischer Neumarkt Dresden, has had a considerable influence on this restoration and has also prevented other planned buildings, such as the new Gavant House. The Dresden Residential Palace is a Renaissance building in the city center of Dresden. It was the seat of the Dresden Court and the Residential Palace of the Saxon Electors and Kings. As the ancestral seat of the Albertine line of the House of Wedden, it had a formative influence on the political and cultural development of Dresden and Saxony from the 16th century onwards. The Residenz Schloss is one of the oldest buildings in the city and is significant in terms of architectural history, as all styles from Romanesque to Historicism have left their mark on the building. As a result of the air raids on Dresden towards the end of the Second World War, the castle burned to the ground on February 13, 1945. After German reunification, the Hausmannsturm was given back its spire in 1991 as part of the reconstruction of the palace. In March 2006, the historic Green Vault Treasury on the first floor was reopened. The Prince's Gallery was handed over in August 2009. The English staircase and the Turkish camera were restored in March 2010. One of the most important rooms in the palace, 
the Giants Hall on the second floor of the East Wing, was completed in 2006-2007. The Castle Chapel was partially reconstructed in 1988-1989 and 2010-2013. A copy of the Renaissance portal from 1555 was installed in the large castle courtyard as the entrance to the Castle Chapel. The restoration of the Fritz organ is being considered. The reconstructed small ballroom in the Georgian Bow was reopened on January 25, 2019. This is one of the few rooms in Dresden Palace that has been rebuilt in its original version. The Zemper Opera in Dresden is the opera house of the Saxon State Opera Dresden, which has a long historical tradition as the court and state opera of Saxony. The Zemper Opera is located on Theater Platz in the historic city center of Dresden near the River Elba. It is named after its architect Gottfried Semper. During the Second World War, the building suffered severe damage during an air raid on Dresden on the night of February 13, 1945. As a result of the air raid, large parts of the building were burned out. The fire destroyed the auditorium and stage area and the rear wall of the stage house collapsed. Only the aisles were spared from the fire. On June 24, 1977, the foundation stone was laid and the reconstruction began under the direction of Wolfgang Hansch as chief architect. The auditorium was extended and the walls in the stage area were moved outwards in order to meet the increased space requirements of the modern opera house. The number of seats was reduced to 1,300. Otherwise, the building was rebuilt according to Semper's plans. The Taschenberg Palais was built from 1705 as a Baroque aristocratic palace in Dresden. After its partial destruction in 1945, it was reconstructed in 1992 as the luxury hotel Taschenberg Palais Kempinski Dresden and opened in 1995. The name is derived from the Taschenberg, a hill that is no longer recognizable today and on which the building was once erected. It is located next to the Royal Palace and directly opposite the Dresden Swinger. The building, which was extensively restored in 1934, was destroyed in the air raids on Dresden on February 13-14, 1945 and remained a ruin for almost half a century. From 1992 to 1995, the palace was rebuilt according to old models and using some of the outer walls, but in a different form than before the war. Instead of the destroyed hipped roof, the building was given a mansard roof. The coat of arms cartouche with flanking sandstone sculptures on the north wing, which was preserved until 1992, was removed and placed, without the figures, on the area between the north and west wings. The top floor of each of the towers in the same area was demolished and replaced by a balcony. Please like and subscribe. Leipzig University Library is a central institution of Leipzig University. It is one of the oldest libraries in Germany. Its main building is the Bibliotheca Albertina. During the Second World War, two-thirds of the main building was destroyed. However, the catalogues and holdings had been removed and remained intact. After the war, only the undamaged left wing of the building was used. For decades, there were no funds available to rebuild the main building. It was only after reunification in 1994 that the extensive restoration and extension of the main building began, including the reconstruction of individual parts of the building, which was completed in 2002. If you like my videos, then subscribe to my channel here to see my latest videos. If you want to see another video directly, then click here. Interesting videos can also be found here.